Station S-T-A-R, the voice of Hollywood, broadcasting a program which originates in the main studios in Hollywood, California. You will now hear from the guest announcer. guest announcer. This program comes to you as part of this theater's program, which the management has selected with the utmost care and consideration for your entertainment. <clears throat> the first request comes from... Uh, Val St. John and sing the theme song of the Hollywood Installment Company entitled, You'll Soon Come Back to Me, accompanied by Nancy Welford on the piano. Nice, sweet girl, Nancy. Even disposition. Always bad. Nancy, are you little kid? There's nobody around. Mr. Hiram Jones of Terry Holt, Indiana. He wants Johnny Walker. <laughs> He's no fool. Oh, <clears throat> he, uh, he probably means the actor. He wants Johnny Walker to say something about solitaire. Uh, 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 he wants Johnny Walker to say something about Hollywood. Folks, I've been all the way up to Alaska on location. Uh, the fact is, I had a disappointed Mary Carr. She had a lovely home-cooked dinner for me, and I had to run away uh, just to come over here and say hello. A lot of people are under the impression that Mary Carr's my real mother. After playing over the hill and numerous other pictures with her. But that's not so. My real mother is in New York. God bless her. Hello, Mom. I hope you're listening in. I'm fine. How are you? I might say a few words about Hollywood. I know there are a lot of people who imagine that Hollywood is a wicked place and all we do is have wild parties at night. That's not so. It's the same as any other small town in the United States. In fact, it's seven miles from a railroad. Just a nine o'clock town where they pull the sidewalks in. You have only two things to do. Either go to a picture show or go to bed. And we're awfully tired of going to bed. Uh, there I you are, Johnny. I thought Mary, I'd catch up well. with you. I'm sorry to disappoint you tonight, Mary. No, I understand, Johnny. But so you won't be disappointed. I brought you some of my favorite pies. Oh, boy. I'll take this on a train. And uh, the nice woolen under arrangement because it's going to be cold up in Alaska. Say, you're a real mother. And uh, you might need those, too. You never forget a thing, do you? <laughs> Always have it. I have six children of my own, you know. My mother raised eight. We have your top by two. Ah, Johnny, now you're bragging. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just telling you. Mary, <laughs> I have to get this train, so will you entertain the, the folks over the air while I'm on my way? Bye-bye, everybody. Oh, Johnny. Here's some more. Why? I don't know why Johnny should ask me to entertain you, because he knows perfectly well that I do not sing or dance or give bridge lessons over the radio. I just spend my time being a mother, that's all. I could give a little motherly advice to the young ladies. Oh, ye marriageable misses, thinking life all love and kisses, glint and glamour, stardust borrowed from above. Men's a base and sword and lummox. Men are chiefly made of stomach. And the songs of all the sirens will not take the place of pie. Oh, Johnny forgot his pie. Johnny! 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 <laughs> he won't need you in Alaska anyway. He can get Eskimo pie up there.
Our next announcement comes from our main studio, where the stars of tomorrow will be presented. The next number is The Wall's Pep by the famous Magnum Kitty. Is everybody happy? a warning to all stage truck girls who want to come to Hollywood and go in the movies. Stay away. We raise our own. Uh, now, by remote control, you will hear Lou Cody, Gwen Lee, Cliff Edwards, alias Ukulele Ike, Buster Keaton, and Raquel Torres. Gwen, we seem to be improving. Why, how's that, Lou? Uh, what was that last story you and I did together? Oh, yes, you remember the one that we played with the Pekingese dog? Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, we're improving greatly. <clears throat> they got us with a lion now. If we're awfully good, maybe the next time they'll let us play with an elephant. Oh, huh? Lou. No? <laughs> Don't be silly. I'll take the Pekingese. You take the Pekingese? Yes. All right. I'll take the Pekingese, too. <laughs> I'd like to take a peek at these. I will take a peek. Not what I wanted, anyway. The, uh, the trainer's been trying to get this lion to lie down for about a half hour, so uh, Mike and the ukulele, we're going to see what we can do with him. See if I can charm him.